Hey y'all, it is Julian, also is the Beard Therapy Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos. But today is a Friday, and we have Kayla, and there are some mistakes yet. I think there's two or three. Then we're gonna hit some thrift stores. And uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a reselling channel where I buy stuff low and sell for market value in places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. We got the GoPro. We have a uh, empty Camry. So we're gonna take y'all along. Good morning. Oh well, we want ourselves out, so. Okay. <laughs> How much is that? I'm pretty sure there's more in there than I heard with that. I think there's more underneath there. Yeah, there is. You do five on that. I got belts for that right there. You do? Sweet. Yeah. So you know what that is. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> you wouldn't do 15 on it, would you? Yeah, wait for 15? him. Appreciate it. Good morning. How you doing? How you guys doing? Sorry, we're early. We're heading back out to Conway to get another one. We're like, man, there's one right by the, right here. So. What is that? Yeah. Is it John's bed? <laughs> Portable winch. Yeah, that would be nice to have. That would be nice to have too. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's a massive vice. Do you know how much they were wanting on their saw? Uh he's coming. Yeah, he no wants to tell you my other son I have no ten bucks. Deal. This worth sixty at least. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good saw. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is actually not a bad uh, fishing rod either. That's a uh, pen pursuit. Okay, it's not horrible out. though, so we'll see. Okay. Old jig master? Yes. Dude, that thing is older than me and you can find. <laughs> I, got, I just like old pen stuff. I got a couple extra as well. Most of mine are in the boat, but I just yeah. love old pen. Yeah, they work well. How much for that little guy? If you do, I'd say probably 20 and 10. 30 bucks, 40. Uh, you also have, is that your, uh, the winch? Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I don't know nothing about that. I did hook it up to a battery and it did, it did, it did it. go in and out. <laughs> it did, uh, other yeah. Other than that, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, because uh, that would be good on it. 20 bucks? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. How much is that now? Thirteen. This morning. Okay. This doesn't have a price tag on it. That's twenty dollars. Twenty. This is. Uh, it has a key also to it. Oh, okay. Is the key inside? I think I saw the key. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Is it twenty a, bucks? It was um, the uh, Thomas series, the Museum Thomas series. Do fifteen? Yeah. Fifteen? Okay, yeah. I got some other things outside yeah. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anything this way? If it has a red flag on it, then it's, it's not. How you doing? Good. Come on in. Hello, I'm sorry we're uh, very late yeah, lunch. My husband is not a problem. Wait, bring it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Basically, anything with the red tags is we're not selling. Gotcha. It's already it's, sold. Yeah, it's really but everything sold. else is pretty much fair game. Cool, thank you. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know. That's a. Oh, waffle maker. Those things are pretty cool. That thing's pretty nice. They have, they have beehive ones that are pretty nice. For sure. There's an onion burger? Yeah. I was wondering what you... It all depends on what they want for them, to be honest with you. Because they're not worth like a ton. So that's a long burger with the... Uh, I'm gonna grab her real quick and see how much they want for these. I'll be at a. Ask her how much this one is. How much for. $10? 10 If I bought a whole bunch, could we do like a big deal in the baskets? Yeah? Okay. Okay. You on the top are Logan Burgers and Prince's House. Mm. And then everything down on the bottom was all odd, just, just random baskets. Okay. $60. Double one. All right, guys, we were back at the house from a day of thrifting and going to estate sales and yard sales on a Friday. I'll flip this camera around, show you what we got. 
All right, the last one we just went to had these Longenberger baskets. Now, these things kind of aren't created equally. You gotta know which ones you're looking for, but I got a whole bunch and some other stuff for 60 bucks, as you saw. And uh, I have to comp some of these things out. Some of them have, you know, stuff like that. Christmas collection, 1988. So you definitely wanna comp these things up because some are worth like a lot of money. Some aren't worth that much. This is an umbrella. Uh, container right there you put your umbrellas in so that's pretty nice this one's a pretty nice basket and i also got some of these little charms that i think go for some decent money but if they ever have like a lining in that or something i'm always looking them up and comping them out i didn't comp any of these out when i was there just because i knew that they were going to be worth more than what i was getting for them or paying for them that one right there the blue ribbon collection seems to be worth some money because this one's part of the blue ribbon collection and it goes for like 22 dollars so right there it says blue ribbon collection and then this one over here is also part of the blue ribbon collection so you have the little thing right there that says it and then you have all the mason jars in there so that's pretty good this goes for like forty dollars and this goes for about thirty dollars so it's seventy dollars right there which is not too bad and then right here we got some power risers these things are pretty pretty neat looking i think these are kids but if they're adults they go for like a hundred dollars and if they're uh, kids, they go for about 50 to 75 bucks. And right there, I got it for $6 at a Goodwill. These drum mags are pretty good to pick up for Nerf guns. This one right here goes for about $15 um, plus shipping or $20 free shipping on eBay. Then I did get a Pen Pursuit. Now this Pen Pursuit isn't anything special, but it probably will go for about 20 bucks. And that's really not that bad. This thing back here is kind of beat, so I probably won't sell that. We did get some of this stuff right here. This is Natural Advantage uh, Jane Seymour. Got them for a dollar a piece. Looks like they go for about $10 a piece. So not too bad. I will sell them in a big lot. Only $5 here for this really cool Toshiba uh, you know, combo unit with the remote. Geez, the remote's probably worth $5 right there. But I think this one has a pretty good soul comp of around 50 bucks. Now this one right here, I, I, as you saw, I paid up on this pen reel. This is a pen jig master 500s now the reason why i did is because i could tell this guy took really good care of his stuff i mean the handle is in really good condition that drag knob i've never seen one that's that color i think that might be an aftermarket drag knob on it really nice monofilament on it and just a nice looking reel for only uh 20 bucks i had to go ahead and buy that because i think it's worth about 40 to 50. i did get some of these um they are heart throb pacer wheels for like the skates but i got two sets of them so i think that'll go good i picked them up for two dollars a piece and i think they're probably easily worth like 20 bucks i did get this i don't know if it glows or if it's uranium glass but it surely looks like it is and i picked that up where i picked up the longenberger stuff so not bad but i can't find my black light and hopefully it does glow i got this really nice looking uh, jewelry box. I'm not really into jewelry boxes, but I did comp this thing out about the, uh, you know, the name on the back and it looked like it went for like 50 bucks and I got it for 15. So really not that bad there. This is another thing I picked up for $15. If you don't know what this is, <laughs> make sure you, uh, you know, always pick these things up. They go for super, a lot of money. Uh, if they're brand new, they go for about a hundred and some dollars, but in used conditions, I have sold one for $75. I picked this up for 15 bucks. So that's not bad. This is a knife sharpener. It is a work sharp Ken Onion knife sharpener. And this is what it looks like. And I've, I've never found one before um, out and about. I've only seen them on auction. But if you see these, they really do a good job and they sell very quickly. And then this guy right here is a monster. He's a huge skill saw. And the model number on the top of the skill saw is right there when you uh when you look for models on skill saws right there is a 5865 model and this one right here has a soul comp for about 89 dollars plus shipping luckily it's plus shipping because this thing weighs a ton all right we are at the breakdown board and here we go so this is all this stuff that i think i'm going to go ahead and make on that i am again i always underestimate it just in case something doesn't work like the combo unit i have that actually in here not working so uh you know i'd, I'd go on the very low end there so it's everything that i talked about it's about 575 dollars in uh you know listable income so what you want to do up here as i always do is one 575 times 20 percent which is for fees and i don't do free shipping or anything so that's 
that's just going to be the fees on eBay. And if I do a sale or whatnot, and I have started promoting some stuff for about one or 2%. So I did a lot for that also. That's $460. I spent $147 on everything you just saw, which brings it down to $313 of potential profit, obviously before taxes. Now, right there, there it is, $313 of potential profit. Uh, and right there, I think it's going to take me about 12 hours to get this stuff done. We really didn't spend a lot of time driving around. It was a lot of things that were close to us, and we were out and about anyway. I'm thinking 12 hours to get everything done, and that's going to be $26 an hour. But I will tell you this, that I only have 20 listable items. That's why it's not going to take me that long to list all this stuff, because there's not a lot to list. And I did spend about $7.35 per item, which is high for me. All right, guys, so that's everything that I buy at yard sales and the thrift store to make this a full-time income. I do appreciate everybody that watches. I do these videos so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I do appreciate that you watch. If you haven't subscribed, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.